the hundredth story from the Zen flesh, the Zen board is written by Paul, hundredth story. Now we are left with only one more story. <laughs> and this is uh, 1300 and odd days non-stop lecturing on varieties of topics and hope everybody must have benefited to improve their health, physically, mentally, spiritually. And in that they must have found a lot of wealth money yes that is the only one thanks we can give for all your support you're going to rakum schools and for rakum jasha the silent temple and everybody kept on telling me your school silently ran without not many people knowing <laughs> yes yeah we kept on because in the, we, we cannot use the term silent because when you become karma yogis there's a huge amount of work and when there is a huge amount of work to help a lot of people, we hardly have the time to open our mouth. I always, this is, I always uh, hate sitting in the chair and talking to people for hours together. They ask a lot of questions. <laughs> yes, instead of working, 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 I think created the magnetic power for more people to get attracted. 99.9% of the people we do not know, 100% of the people we never knew. Never knew, yes, and but they came to us only because I and my children worked non stop with the love, with the love, yes. Everybody who comes to a place, we felt that they came in the form of God. <laughs> we never complained, we never had any problems. We always, others must have felt problems, but we never, we kept on allowing children to grow. That was the silent temple. Soichi was a one-eyed teacher of Zen sparkling with enlightenment. He taught his disciples in Tofuku temple. Day and night the whole temple stood in silence. There was no sound at all. One-eyed teacher of Zen sparkling with enlightenment. Not the two-eyed, one-eyed sparkling with enlightenment. He taught his disciples in Tofuku temple, day and night, the whole temple stood said, there was no sound at all. It's called the sound of the one and clapping. Only if you can hear the sound of the one and clapping, there is a powerful amount of energy moving inside, working, yes, where there is a time. It's not that it was silence, it was the music of the people working, the sweat and the blood and the chirping of the birds. And people, when the, the temple uh, disciples are walking non-stop, they are singing. That, that in that singing, you find the silence. Because words are not dissected. You do not find a meaning on every word. You are just enjoying doing it up. You are enjoying giving your 100% of your body where you can roll like a thousand men more. When you give the last drop of your talent out, you can find you are healthy. Enormous energy of powerful energy. Satori's enlightenment, orgasmic or orgasmic experiences, blooms, opens up. In that opening, <laughs> you will find, or the people find it silent. You will find the sound of the one hand clapping. The way you look and you sing and dance, that was the silence. Day and night the whole temple stood in silence, there was no sound at all. Sound in the sense, unnecessary barking, unnecessary budgets and other things. Instead, it was a way of expressing that every part of your body internally and externally is 100% used. <laughs> where there is sport, where there is devil, where there is up and down. <laughs> Everything what you see, you see in the form of God. Even the reciting of sutras are abolished by the teacher. If people have got nothing to do but meditate, abolished by the teacher in the sense, unnecessary borrowed knowledge. You have to do your body work. You can understand the medicinal value of the medicine plants, with the vegetables, what you grow, the fruits that you grow. You share it with the birds, like how my Devanali farmers Every time when they, they, uh, they reap the harvest or when, you, when, when, when it's, time, it's time to uh, pluck the tomatoes and other things, I always find they're living quite a lot. 
behind. I asked him, they said, don't you know? The boats, they are coming for us. They, you should leave it for them. Otherwise, where will they go? Can you believe they are poor? Farmers are poor. They have their own problems. Government is not able to solve it a lot. But still, they make sure a part is given to the nature. That was the silence. Sutras is not that you is abolished by the teacher. You don't go back to. You have the right to touch the sutras and the holy book only after you practice. That's why I kept on telling all the Swamiji's and the Guruji's and the church father much. Make sure morning till evening you sweat it out in the field. Your every temple and every church and masjid should have rainwater harvesting, solar energy and medicinal plants growing, which the people are coming. Their prasada, what they take. The holy water, what they, you give, is the what you have grown in your temple. Every one vegetable. When people come, they are not going to pray. They are going to go into the garden of your temple and the church and the masjid to work like a karma yogi. And then they wash their hands. Then they go and pray to your God or listen to a sermon for five minutes. Only then the sermon is understood. Only then the sermon can penetrate like the castor oil. You put the castor oil, it's the most powerful oil which can penetrate in any part of the body. Even cancerous cells are killed. Cancer can be removed. In indigestion can be removed. Only this castor oil. That is why we said we must go to the temple and church and masjid where the Swamiji's and Guruji's and the church father and the Masjid Mullahs must make sure a lot of vegetables, a lot of medicinal plants, a lot of fruits are grown. Rainwater harvesting is there, a way of life to make sure that there is a grey water harvesting, black water harvesting, check them, drip irrigation, and then when you see the solar lights, how it is made, the people go there. The disciples, the people who are coming, the followers who are coming to pray in the church or the temple or masjid must go around and do all the work so that there's no spending of the money they all have no that is the work after they sweat it out after their feet is touched mud after they sweat no work no food then only they get the food right inside the temple when you go inside the temple that food is the sermon the food is the prayer food is the bhajan and after the bhajan they get the prasada they get the holy water and that holy water and the prasad penetrates to remove all the dirt. You go rejuvenated. Here you see people well dressed going to the temple. When you come out of the temple, your whole body will be soiled with mud. And maybe in the temple or church you can have a bath coming out with the what bath you should have? You should have only the Ofuro bath. All the churches and temples and masjids should have Ofuro bath. Ofuro bath is hot water. And the cold water, what you have in Japan, the spring water, hot boiling water. And when you sit in that one minute for hot water, run and sit three minutes in the cold water. They shuffle it up. So there is a circulation, blood circulation. And when you sit in the Ofuro now, under the feet, there will be massage, shoulder. People never get sick. They are healthy. You are going to the temple, masjid, church to be healthy. You go to the hospital. That was a temple once upon a time. Now you are going to the hospital to get multiple Multi, multi, multiple organ failure in the ICU, I will see you, I see you, they will see you all your money and then a dead body is brought out, yes, what you went to get health but you don't get health, even the Rasayi Sutra is abolished with the teacher, his pupils have nothing to do but, med but to do but meditate, what the master passed, well, when the master passed away, an old neighbor heard the ringing of the bells and the recitation of sutras, then she knew Soichi has gone. Neighbors found out suddenly there was a lot of noise. They understood the master of noise in the sense, arguments, no people are working. When disciples and followers are coming, they are not being taken care of like God. People are in the walking, nobody is telling good morning. That was it. When they understood, that was indiscipline. Indiscipline, destruction, discipline is growth. The disciplines came out of your hard work is just a beautiful smile and in the smile those who have the smile especially BP and uh, diabetes people they said you must smile always you must laugh always when you laugh that is the medicine and in this church and in this temple in this masjid in, the master died you didn't find any smile and the uh, laughter you are not embracing people you are not saying good morning but you are argue, arguing this and that and no work is moving forward hence they knew the master is not there. Beat the master. And your roar of a thousand men warriors is heard. 
across the length and breadth of your house, your area, and then you are called Purnamata, Purnamita, Purnamudashita, Purnasya, Purnamataya, Purnameva, Vashishita, Om Shanti. That time you find Shanti inside the Shanti, you find truth and God. 